What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, and another day of bulls. Yes, the party does not stop. Or does it? That is the question. <laughs> but remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And where are we going? I am not going to lie. There is a lot of, lot of positive news especially after last year. Uh, we had the big correction last year. I don't expect another big correction this year, maybe a pullback. I've been talking about a pullback, but it, we have just relentlessly gotten like phenomenal news, phenomenal earnings. Uh, one thing that I did notice, uh, Kathy Wood did come on and they ha she had a webinar today and one thing I did take out of that or uh, from what I have overheard uh, was essentially the fact that um, she expects essentially growth stocks or inno innovative stocks to be separating from value stocks. Uh, so being said, a lot of these um, stocks that people are thinking are going to come back, uh, like CCL and particular ones like that, yeah, I think they'll see a bump, but ultimately I think um, innovation is just going to run away with it this year uh, in the coming years. Uh, and that's essentially what Kathy Wood was talking about in the fact that uh, she was big on Tesla and robo-taxis and Bitcoin. Um, and one thing important to note here, I don't know if you are invested in Bitcoin, but uh, Kathy Wood did bring up a good point that if all companies follow Tesla's lead and put 10% of their money into Bitcoin, you could see Bitcoin at 400K, I believe is what they were saying. So it is it's very much a reality. Something we used to joke about Bitcoin just a couple of years ago is now very much a reality. Again, something uh, to always keep in mind that to never laugh it off because eventually one day it very well could be. Uh, being said, the market in general, where are we going? Uh, there's, stocks are still ripping, uh, but let's not just talk about it. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up the chart, see what we've got. So, being said, SPY in itself, uh, SPY in itself looked kind of sideways today, I ain't going to lie, but a lot of individual stocks were running. Uh, we did have that sell-off at open. I, I kept saying, is that going to be the one? It actually came down and tagged uh, the 50 this time. Uh, there's been quite a bit of a gap between the 20 and 50, but it is closing in. So that's something to keep in mind on the EMAs. Uh, it is really starting to look like it wants to roll over. Uh, we got a couple to the end of the week. I'm not really sure. Uh, should you be buying every dip? It's possible. Again, this isn't financial advice. <laughs> this year is extremely bullish, and it's going to take something uh, very big for this market to even correct at this point. I mean, right now there's just so much, I think what's holding us up, uh, there's there's good numbers coming out uh, left and right, um, a bunch of innovative uh, news, which is really impressive uh, from Tesla. Uh, you know, Amazon had those amazing numbers. Uh, Facebook continue to pump out amazing numbers. I mean, everybody's just left and right. I'm sure Disney, uh, Disney earnings is on Thursday. I'm sure they'll put out crazy numbers, even though the parks have been closed. The money that they have been generating from Disney Plus, I'm sure, is through the roof. Uh, there is just a lot of good news. So I can see why we are starting to still pull up. Uh, again, I have been uh, very liquid. Uh, I have taken some a lot of pennies lately, but today I actually took a position in a stock. I think I've mentioned this particular stock. Um, but ultimately, I took a position. I took a decent position in shares and in and in leaps on uh, on old Unity Software. It had a bad earnings and came crashing down. Being said, I I like where it's at. It's starting to consolidate here. So I took a decent position in shares and again, a leap out of here. If this does pull back, I am planning on adding on this. Uh, this is another big one. Uh, Arc is building a big position on this one as well. And I like uh, Unity Software because of the fact that um, something I caught, uh, 
Kathy would have brought out on her last uh, now, you know, whatever that video was that she comes out, I think it's like once a month. Um, but she was talking about how essentially virtual reality is coming a lot quicker than we think it is. Being said, uh, Unity Software has always been one of them uh, top of the line uh, 3D, um, 3D modeling and stuff like that, and the 3D gaming space. Being said, I think it could be huge. Um, that that is why I think this IPO. I think this IPO not even very long ago. I can't remember when this IPO because I was upset. I, it was really low, and uh, I didn't get into it yet. Sixty five. I think I wasn't looking at 65, but I was looking at it around 83. I was like, ah, that's too much. And then it just ripped up. Uh, I think now is really time. It's at a pretty decent support right now. Um, ultimately, on the weekly, it doesn't look the greatest. On the hourly, it does look good. Um, on the daily, I mean, it does look like it is, is retesting uh, the trend line. You see that better on the hourly here. We've broken out of this trend and retested, uh, try to push back up at least to the, this uh, 138 mark, if not more, or at least try to fill this gap, I think would be more like it. So I'm hoping for 150. Uh, we will see. Again, I do like this particular company. Uh, so this is a new position I took today. Again, I'm still a lot of cash. I'm waiting. Um, to see if there's any kind of correction. Uh, stuff is high, but um, what uh, Ms. Kathy Woods uh, reminded us today was the fact that uh, we're nowhere near high at this point, especially with innovation. Um, so it's always something, well, that's one thing I do like about her and do respect her very much so because of that fact. Uh, she's She's got great foresight on, on where we're going ultimately on uh, uh, the macroeconomics in, and numbers are essentially good. Everything is there. Everything fundamentally wise, we are very strong. We are extremely bullish. This year uh, should be extremely easy to make money. It's not saying that something, some news can, some random news drops about some new virus or something, and then we come crashing down. Again, be mindful, be careful. That's why I typically like, if I go heavy on positions, they are in beta stocks. This is, again, why this channel is called Beta Memoirs, because um, my conviction in... You know, if if you're picking in good strong uh, strong stocks, something like Tesla, right? Uh, it's resilient. Uh, being said, um, if it does take a hit, um, you can bounce back fairly quickly. Again, if it's not something uh, too dramatic. Now, being said, uh, let's go ahead and jump back up to QQQ. QQQ uh, it was straining here today, but we've broken up. I thought we were going to hold here and push down. Uh, it's been kind of the same statement I've been saying over the past couple of days, but it has definitely been, um, it's cruising. Uh, it's melting up slowly. Uh, big tech, though, I talked about this yesterday. Big tech is kind of struggling. Uh, that might be the telltale sign that um, here after another week or so, uh, we will do some selling. Again, at this point, I don't know how much, uh, 10, 15, 10, 15% at most, if even that, um, in the general market uh, being said. Uh, that can be bigger moves here in, in some of these um, bigger moves in individual stocks. Uh, again, I would really like to get Tesla at 740 if there is a, a decent correction. I believe it can touch down to 740 on the daily and stuff. That is ultimately where the support is. If we can get that far, I don't know if we will. Uh, Tesla is one of my primaries on the pullback. To get in, um, there's, again, a lot of news. Uh, Robo-taxis uh, be a big thing. And I, got, I know they got the new car at the end of the year, um, the 25K car they're talking about, uh, the trucks, uh, the semis and cyber truck uh, end of year. Um, so there's a lot building up. So if we can get in at good prices, um, essentially here at this pullback, uh, then right them into possibly October. We might get another correction in October. Uh, again, that's normally when the correction happens. Uh, being said, we'll see how that works. Uh, play it by ear, manage your risk, but ultimately that is my plan with Tesla. Uh, Square, uh, painful to look at, but it's high. <laughs> I don't think she'll be doing much more moving. I would actually anticipate this to drop back down 
uh, a little bit before earnings, possibly seeing that 237 uh, before earnings. Then we have earnings and see what that brings. Uh, but again, I think new numbers are really going to make that Jets possibly even go to 70, possibly go to uh, 300. Um, definitely seeing 300, I think, this year and beyond, if not more than that. So I think Kathy Wood originally put like 350, and that was like a year ago or something. And I think that's gonna they're going to blow right past that, especially with crypto. But being said, Airbnb, it's high. I want it back down. I was originally in this position when I came and I caught this candle, um, but it was just uh, it was just a weekly. It wasn't anything. I wasn't in shares or anything. Again, I was waiting for a correction. Now I'm starting to see the more um, I'm seeing, I'm thinking oh, we're going to be okay. Again, the correction will come, but uh, I think mostly it won't. It's not going to be that big. I really don't think it's going to be that big. Uh, Apple just kind of trading sideways. I've noticed Apple's actually been, um, it looks great on the daily. Uh, it's actually been trading sideways quite a bit. It's been holding this 20. Um, again, pretty solid. It's getting rejected here, obviously, by the um, resistance here. But I started thinking about this, this theory, right? If when I was talking about Bitcoin and, and companies starting uh, to buy into Bitcoin, I think Apple might be the next one. Uh, right. If you can use um, Bitcoin on all Apple uh, platforms, uh, that's a big uh, revenue resource that they could use. If they announce that, I could possibly see this running as well. Uh, again, this is not uh, financial advice. Uh, again, just game time theory here. But being said, um, we could see some big plays coming. Uh, Facebook, um, same with that. I know Facebook was developing its own coin. I don't know whatever came with that. I don't follow Facebook that close. Um, I think they were talking next year. So I think there's still another year before that coin even comes out. Uh, but considering what the way everything's going, it's kind of like, well, you really want everybody on a different coin or just have everybody on Bitcoin at this point, especially Tesla making that first leap. So it might just convert everybody to Bitcoin. Uh, being said, um, bind. Uh, sideways, waiting on that one. Etsy, it's, it's too high. It needs to come down. Uh, Disney, this could be a big one. It's starting to sell off a little bit. Again, uh, I think it's kind of hit its points. I think just like Square, I think it might come down a little bit before earnings uh, and then dive back and, and try to attempt for that 200 at that point. Uh, we'll see how that works. Planters, I still like this one. want it down. Uh, if there is any kind of correction, this is one I definitely want to get in. And NDM, uh, I missed a couple big plays on this, uh, but ultimately I haven't been scalping that much because I'm kind of just waiting right now. I'm waiting for better positions. I'm trying to really feel out the market. And if I don't feel like I'm feeling the market correctly, I'm not going to jump in a scalp. Um, even though these scalps have been really good, there's been some big pumps here, full dollar uh, pumps here on NDM. Uh, NNOX, I'm kind of upset about this one. Uh, I was really watching it here uh, when it broke this. Actually, it broke this. I watched the spike and it started selling off. And I was like, oh, man, it's just going to keep going. It actually held that level still. Uh, this is a very strong support here. Uh, and it popped up in this day. It just ripped up. Um, being said, it's all good. I'll move on to the next one. Uh, I gotta have a short-term memory in this in this game, that's for sure. Uh, that one's still high, um, high tide. Still waiting on that one. This one I actually um, tagged out in this one today. Uh, still in the green. Uh, I left a lot on the table, but I tagged out. I didn't like it that it broke below the twenty. I wasn't gonna stay in it. If it comes back down, I uh, definitely want to get into this one again. A L L M. I said I was gonna. I've talked about this before. I said I would hold. I wanted to hold this all year. Again, this is one of those ones that um, I play by ear. If I feel like the market's going to sell off, I'll tag out while I'm still uh, in the green and then reposition. Uh, my entry on this wasn't the greatest. I think I got in at like 83, so I didn't want it to come tag me or break even. I was up pretty good at this point at the $1 mark, um, and then it came back down. So I tagged out. Uh, essentially, as soon as it broke that, I tagged out. Uh, Planet 13, <laughs> I missed the whole... I tagged out right here, so I missed a whole almost dollar. I missed about 80 cents on this guy. Um, all good. It happens. I'd rather be uh, in the green than not. 
Uh, I was thinking about putting a stop on this. Um, that would have came close there, but it's all good. Um, just waiting. Uh, very good. Butcher, I actually added to this position. Again, they are uh, transferring exchanges sometime beginning of the first quarter here. Uh, so being said, uh, there's a lot of good news based around this. Uh, the stock could eventually go been here and up, uh, up around like 20 to $50 uh, by end of year. Uh, if that's the case, that'd be phenomenal. Uh, I'd, I'd hold this one. Again, it's supposed to transition over to very ticker symbol, very V-E-R-Y. Uh, again, sometime in this quarter when it changes over to the exchanges. If you are holding this, uh, it should transfer over uh, without any issues. But uh, let's see what else we got here. Uh, again, you, this is the new position I got today. Uh, excited about this one. I wanted it to come down quite a bit, and it took that big hit. So I'm excited about that one. Uh, Chris, today, I almost took this one uh, yesterday because I was liking the consolidation. It did break out, but sold back right back off. Um, tan, too high. I know a lot of uh, renewables have been pushing back up. MP exploded out of uh, the wedge. Uh, I didn't want to chase it, to be honest, again, with the correction and everything. I wanted to actually come back down in the zone, and then I want to grab leaps. Uh, my original leap that I had in this uh, did fairly good. I mean, I tagged out. I think it was 30. I tagged out around the 30, yeah, around this 31 mark. Um, I just wrote it to there. I was looking for another re-entry. I thought I would have assumed it would have came back down, but it's all good. Um, TSIA, I'm waiting for that to come down. Uh, ENPH, I believe they had earnings today. Uh, they crushed it, is what it looks like. Yeah, they had earnings today, crushed it. Uh, STPK, um, uh, sympathy play maybe here from uh, ENPH. Uh, energy storage, uh, still running to 43 now. Holy cow. Uh, let's see, NIO. A nice move here. Um, I just don't like NIO. I know everybody's a big fan of NIO. Uh, there's got to be other competition to Tesla, but I think uh, NIO has a lot of problems that uh, haven't been uh, really looked at closely. Um, CCIB, don't like it. It's too high. I don't even know why I have that ticker on here, to be honest, but it is on there. Uh, Bluebird has been pushing up. I did uh, tag out my last uh, shares on this. I don't know if I said that or not, but I have uh, gotten rid of all my shares on this as well. Waiting for a correction. Again, trying to be liquid on everything. NGA. Um, I was hoping it would come back down to the zone. It didn't touch. Maybe we'll get a push down. We'll see. Let's see space. Space. Space is too high. Snow had a little bit of a push today and a little nice uh, gap up today. Uh, not interested in snow, really, to be honest. No spots. I almost took this position today. I wanted to take it last week, but again, I was, I've was i been really hesitant because I wanted to see where the market was at. Uh, being said, uh, to, today, um, it was up over both these EMAs. I almost took it here today. I had the buy order and everything set, then I held off, and then I had this nice uh, push up today. It looks like it's getting ready to run uh, back up, it is what it is. Again, short term memory loss helps. Uh, lemonade pushed up and broke the wedge today, and it looks like we are continuing even after hours. Um, same with this one as well. This one actually. Uh, Proto Labs would actually be good tomorrow if it does come back down to the zone and tag this wedge uh, and then push up tomorrow would be awesome. Uh, that's something to keep in mind. I know they're, I believe their earnings are coming up sometime soon too. Uh, Bingo had a nice push up pre market and died off. Uh, Microsoft still pushing hard. I've uh, been a big Microsoft fan. Riots uh, for Bitcoin just been crazy. I almost grabbed that thing too, man. It's all good, all good, all good. Uh, have faith in uh, you. Uh, Amazon today, uh, it's wedging nicely here. It's one thing I noticed. Uh, but if it does break down here, uh, I'm not really interested in it. Uh, Amazon is way up there right now. 
I know it has a price target, but the whole uh, thing with with Bezos uh, stepping down as CEO is kind of, I think, is that's got to be got to kind of be shaken out. I know he hasn't left completely, but it's uh, a, whole, a whole mess has got to be shaken out. Uh, let's see, shop a ridiculous run today. I didn't even notice that. Shop's been pushing up, nice. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, there was news about shop today. It's news about shop and Facebook. That's why Facebook popped today. Uh, shop uh, was integrating their stores in with Facebook and with um, Facebook and. Instagram. So that's why uh, this had this huge pop. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if they just didn't outright buy shop at this point. Um, it is really high though. Uh, so I want to be, uh, be interesting to see if this, for whatever reason, sells off and then um, Facebook swoops in and, um, and buys them up. Uh, I would not be surprised. Uh, Roku, hi, Netflix. Hi, it's kind of been stair stepping up slowly. Uh, pins, not a snap. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for, to break all time highs, uh, that could be a level you could watch on Snap. Uh, Dropbox to high, ZM. ZM's slowly creeping up. Uh, T Doc uh, broke all time highs, but looks like it's trying to get back over. I'm trying to think. I actually need to set this again because if this does uh, tag back down here, I want to get back in this. Let's see. Yeah, right now it looks like there's a. Um, it doesn't really look like there's anything else aside. Um, this one's just been creeping up slowly. Vips, uh, Vips is a good one too to play. Uh, Baidu also was ripping crazy today on some news. I don't remember what exactly the news was, but Baidu was on there too. Let's take a look at Baidu. And Baidu had a nice rip today. And that one just really took off. I didn't even catch it. 188 SNDL IQ. Looking, I mean, everything is high. Again, there'll be some kind of little correction. I don't know how big, um, but that's what I'm, I'm counting on. I'm waiting for that. Again, you don't need multiple trade. You don't need to be trading every day. Uh, my experience, you do not uh, find the more you trade, the more you get yourself in trouble. Uh, you may have a good winning streak, but then you have that one winning streak that kind of wipes out all the, your other plays. If so if this you find this to be you, you may need to uh, be taking a little more or less trades. Uh, it's definitely helped uh, me on my aspect and my trading. Um, let me see here. I think, yeah, everything else... Uh, Peloton, I've actually thought about this. This broke t today and, and pushed. I had a couple dollar move here, but um, Peloton, it's not my favorite stock. I don't think I've ever actually traded the stock, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, but could be something good. Um, again, that's pretty much what I got for you guys. I think uh, a lot of it's just continuation, just playing. I'm waiting for uh, you to see if it uh, continues up. Uh, I really like that play because of the sell-off. Uh, normally when uh, there's crazy um, sell-offs like that, uh, the recovery is always great. So, and that gap is, is pretty good on you. Uh, everything else uh, still looks uh, pretty decent if you're looking to scalp, I think at this point. Uh, just continuing to look. Because one thing I have noticed is overnight, um, we have definitely been uh, things, setups and everything look good. And then the next day they've really been out of whack and things that weren't in good setups are in great setups. Uh, so just play continuations. Um, again, pretty decent size on you, but aside from that, like, and a uh, very good butcher, but aside from that, like everything else, I've kind of just been uh, waiting. Uh, again, it, 
you be patient. Uh, the setup will come and then take it. Uh, I'll provide whatever information I can on those setups for you guys. Uh, but just wait for it. Just be patient and, and realize when it comes, then then that's when you when you load the boat, right? Uh, this is a financial advice. You don't literally load the boat and put your whole account in it. You don't want to do that. For some reason, that stock crashes and you lose your whole account. Again, this is why the scrolling bar is on the bottom of the screen. Uh, remember to manage your risk. I just say that because I like to say that and I don't really whole account these things. <laughs> I manage my risk. I got multiple accounts. Um, so I don't do that. Uh, not that I would, but uh, just good things to keep in mind to be a profitable trader. All right, guys, have a great evening and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Later.